Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee, Espanol Essential, the Spanish Essential, Chapter 2, 西班牙文基礎的第二課, Los Generos, the gender, Sengbit. In this Chapter 2, we help you to correctly mark the genders of a noun by using definite article, which expect the indefinite articles which expect a, an, or some, or the demonstrative adjective, which expect this, that, this, or those. You can also read up on two different ways to show possessions of things and how to replace direct and indirect object nouns with their respective pronouns. In this section, we concentrate on the definite article Articular definidos and the indefinite articles, articular indefinidos. Los articular definidos, the definite articles. A definite article express the English word the and indicate a specified person or thing, such as the boy or the book or the lion, the elephant, etc. We must choose the correct definite article to mark a noun in order to say the in Spanish. And in Spanish, the article the have separates into masculine nouns, feminized nouns, singular masculine, or plural masculine, plural feminized, etc. For example, muchacho, boy, el muchacho escande. The boy is fake. This L means the in Spanish. But if you have many books, and books is a masculine noun, you use the word los. Los libros son interesantes. The books are interesting. You cannot use the word L because the word L is for the singular masculine noun and loss is for the plural masculine noun. And for feminine nouns like girl, muchacha, you have to use the word the, la, la muchacha es alta, the girl is tall. And if you have a noun, house, and you, you want to say the house, this is the plural form of house, a plural form of a feminized noun, we use las for the article the. Las casa son pangas. And you have noted that in here, the color bango is right. But if you have a feminist noun plural form, the adjective has to be changed as well. The adjective of Bango has to be changed into bangas. So the houses are right. Las casas son bangas. Las reglas de los articular definidos. The rules of the definite articles. With noun in a general or abstract sense, el amor es divino. Amor is the love, an abstract noun, and it is in a masculine form. So you have to use L for the article the. El amor es divino. Love is divine. With nouns in specified sense. La dia's Maria. Dia is aunt. Maria is auntie Maria. This is a feminist noun, singular form. So you use the article la. La dia Maria da el regalos. Aunt Maria brings gift, and also with name of languages, except after the word aba to tell or to talk, and after the preposition de of a form, and end in or on. Me gusta el español. I like Spanish. And in English, you just say I like Spanish. But in Spanish, you have to say that el español, the Spanish, make me love it or make me like it so me gusta el español i like spanish you have to add 
the article else in front of the Espanol, Spanish. Donde esta mi libro de Espanol? Where is my book of Spanish? This meaning is that where is my Spanish book? Donde esta? Where is mi libro, my books de Espanol of Spanish? And in here, you don't use the article de el Espanol, you just say de Espanol. So you omit the articles after the word de of a form. Donde esta mi libro de Espanol? Where is my Spanish book? Escribame, write to me. Who write to me? Maybe she write to me or he write to me. Escribame, escribame. En Espanol, write to me in Spanish. So you don't need the words Esquibame en el Espanol. You just say en Espanol. So it come after the words en or after the word de or after the words aba. You don't need the article el or los. We continue with the Las Regas de los Articulos Definidos. More rules on the definite articles. With parts of the body, when the possessor is clear, in place of the possessive adjective. For example, me duelen los pies. Pies is the leg or the feet. Los pies, this means the legs or the feet. Duelen means hurt. I hurt my the feet. That means I hurt my feet. So in here, the loss is replaced the possessive adjective means. So the word here is my feet hurt. With titles and rank, when you aren't addressing the person. For example, when you talk about Mrs. Rebira, la señora Rebira está aquí. Mrs. Rebira is here. Mrs. Rebira is here. You use the article la. But however, if you are talking directly to her, so in here, si endese, it means please sit down, señora Rivera. And in this sentence, it means please sit down, Mrs. Rivera. You don't need the word la in front of the señora Rivera. With the last name, the family name, this means the last name. With the last name, for example, the Gomez family, we use los. Los Gomez viven in Colombia. The Gomez families live in Colombia. So in here, you have to use the word the, los, in front of the Gomez. Los Gomez viven in Colombia. The Gomez live in Colombia. Most rules on the definite articles. With the days of the week, except after the word se. El Domingo's boy are Mexico's. The Sunday, I am going to Mexico. That means I'm going to Mexico on Sunday. You use the word L instead of the word N in here for the day of the week. El Domingo boys are Mexico. On Sunday, I am going to Mexico. Hoy es miércoles. But when you are talking about Wednesday, today is Wednesday, you don't need hoy es el miércoles because this is after the word to be is share. Here. So, hoy es miércoles. It means today is Wednesday. You don't need to say today is the Wednesday. Just say today is Wednesday. Hoy es miércoles. And also with the seasons, you may omit the articles after the word and not trabajo. I don't work. Trabajo is I work. Not trabajo is I don't work. And verano on summer, or you can say on the summer. But this word L can be omitted when you're coming before the season. For example, in here, before the summer. So, no trabajo en el verano. I don't work in the summer. With date, the days of May or the days of July or of any month. For example, in this sentence, as el cinco de mayo. This is the 5th of the May. That means this is the 5th of the May. You need the word L in here. Es el cinco de mayo. This is the fifth 
of the May. That means this is May the 5th. We continue on the rules with the hours of the days and the other type expression. For example, son las once y media. They are 11 and a half. So we use the last once because once is 11 and it is plural. So we use the article last for the feminized plural form. Son las once y media. It is 11 or they are 11 and a half. So it means it is 11.30. Example 2, Sago Boladares. Sago means I am going out Boladares in the afternoon. So we use the article Ladares, the afternoon. Sago Boladares. I am going out in the afternoon. With the name of many city and the country, through there is a tendency to omit the article in the current usage. So in here you can see El Basil, Basil. In Spanish, we have to use the L before it, because Basil is the masculine noun, so we use the article L, El Ecuador, El Escorial, El Paraguay, El Perú, El Salvador, and you can see in El Salvador here, the letter E is capitalized because the country name is also include the L's here. In here also, El Escorial L is also include in the name of the country. But in El Uruguay, and the country is only Uruguay and L is for the article. So the E here is not capitalized. La Argentina, La China, La Habana, La India, La Paz, Los Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos is United States. So you can see all the country name, we use the L or the Los in front of it. Example two, visitamos El Basil. You can omit the L in here because it's a tendency to omit the article in the current usage. We visit the Brazil, visitamo, we visit El Brazil or visitamo Brazil. Capitalized articles are actually part of the name of the country. This is one of the example, El Salvador, El is actually the part of the country name. So we capitalize the E, whereas the article in lowercase are not. For example, yo nací en El Salvador, pero pasé muchos años en la Argentina. I was born in El Salvador, but I spent many years in Argentina. I was born in El Salvador, but I spent many years in Argentina. And with the name of the rivers, the seas, and other geographical location, we also use the article El or Los. For example, El Orinoco es un lío. The Orinoco is a liver. And the definite article persists the noun is modified and agree with that noun in numbers and in gender. So you have to be careful of the genders of the nouns and also the singular or the plural form of the noun for using the correct articles before the nouns. For example, El muchacho, because muchacho is the boy, so it is masculine, so we use the article L. El muchacho as rubio. Rubio is the color of the hair. This is the color rubio of the hair. It's a golden yellow hair. Y las muchacha and the girls. Muchachas is the girl. This is a plural form, feminized form. So we use the articles last. Las muchacha son morena. Morena is the brown golden color of the hair. We call it morena. So el muchacho es rubio y las muchacha son morenas. The boy is brown and the girls are brunette. And now we are looking for some exception case that we use articles in English, but we omitting the definite articles in Spanish. 
So you omit the definite articles in the following situation in Spanish before the noun in apposition. What is mean by apposition? Apposition mean in grammar a situation in which two nouns or noun phrase are used to refer to the same person or thing. When one noun expands and the other noun we call it apposition. For example, Madrid, capital de España, es una ciudad popular. Madrid is the capital, is the capital of Spain, and it is a popular city. So we just omit the el capital or la capital before the word capital. But in English, you can see that Madrid, the capital, we use the in English, right? The capital of Spain is a popular city, but in Spanish, Madrid, we don't use la or el capital de España. We just omit the article capital de España as una ciudad popular. Madrid, capital de España as una ciudad popular. And also before numerals that expect the title of rulers. For example, Carlos Quindo, Charles. The fifth, Quindo is the fifth. In English, we will say Charles the fifth, but in Spanish, we will say Galos Quindo. We just omit the words Galos El Quindo. Now we are looking at the contracting with definite articles. And in Spanish features only two contraction. They occur when the definite article L is joined with the preposition A, A plus L, which contract into ao and de with the l we contract into del the only exception to the rule is when the definite article is part of the title or part of the name here are some example of this contraction for example boy are el uruguay we contract into boy al uruguay i am going to uruguay I am going to Uruguay. And in here, boy are El Salvador, because El Salvador is actually the name of the country. So we don't contract the R with the L here. So boy are El Salvador, I am going to Salvador, or I am going to El Salvador. And also, soy del Uruguay, I am from Uruguay. Soy del Uruguay. Actually, it's soy de el Uruguay and contract into del Uruguay. I am from Uruguay. And in the last example, soy de el Salvador. In here, el Salvador is actually the name of the country. So we don't contract the de with the el. We just say soy de el Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Okay, let's do some exercise on the definite articles. Question one, the boys and the girls are walking on the street. You can see this is the boy and the girls are walking on the street. So the boy is a masculine noun, girl is a feminine noun, and street is a feminine noun. So the answer for this question, if you translate it into Spanish, el niño y la niña están caminando en la calle. The boy and the girls are walking on the street. El niño y la niña están caminando en la calle. Question two, the capital of Mexico is Mexico City. This is the capital and capital is a feminist noun. So, la capital de México. Es la ciudad is the city de México. La capital de México. Es la ciudad de México. The capital of Mexico is Mexico City. Question three, London, the capital of England. And the capital is meaning the same London of England. So, in Spanish, we just omit the article the and in Spanish, Londres, capital de Inglaterra, London, capitals of England. Question four, the men put the cups 
on the table. And in here, you see the man is the plural form of masculine, the cup is the plural form of feminine, and the table is the plural form of the feminine word tables. And cups is feminine, and man is masculine. So if we translate this into Spanish, los hombres ponen las taza en la mesa. The men put the cups on the tables. And finally, question five, the tree are in the park behind the house. This is the tree. Tree is masculine in plural form. In the park, the park is masculine in singular form. And behind the houses, the houses is the feminized in plural form. So when we translate into Spanish, Los árboles están en el parque de las de las casas. The trees are in the park behind the houses. So beside the definite articles, we have the indefinite articles. And an indefinite articles which express in English words a, an, or some, refer to the persons or objects not specifically identified, such as a boy, some books, just like with the definite articles, when you know whether a noun or whether a noun is masculine or feminine, singular or plural, you can choose the correct indefinite articles to mark that noun. For example, in singular form, masculine, un, feminized, una. Plural form, plural form masculine, uno. Plural form feminized, unas. Let's say. Gombe un abrigos. She bought or he bought an overcoat or an overdress, and we use the indefinite articles un for the masculine noun abrigos. So, gombe un abrigo. She bought an or she bought one overcoat. Es una mujer muy estuda. Mujer is the feminized noun. So, we use the indefinite article una, not un, as un mujer muy estuda. She is a very astute woman. And uh, astute here means someone who is able to understand a situation quickly and see how to take advantage of it. Necesitos unos lemones y unas lima. I need some lemon and some lemon. So lemon is a masculine plural form noun. So we use unos for some. And limas is a feminized plural form noun. So we use unas for the some. And in some case, we also omitting the indefinite articles before unmodified nouns that express nationality, profession, or religious or political affiliation. For example, El Señor Robes as professor. Señor Robes is a teacher. We use the definite article El Señor in here because we are talking about El Señor. We are not directly talking with him. And as professor is a teacher. In English, we use is a teacher, but in Spanish, we don't use is a teacher. We just say as professor is teacher because teacher is a profession. So if you translate to English, Mr. Robert is a teacher. However, you use the indefinite article when the noun is modified by an adjective. For example, El Señor Robert as un profesor liberal. And you use this indefinite article un before the professor, because the professor is modified by the word liberal, liberal. So, El Señor Robert as un professor liberal. Mr. Robo is a liberal teacher, and liberals mean respective and allowing many different types of belief or behaviors. That means he is very open. And also, we omitting the indefinite articles in the following noun, 100, 100, 
we don't need to say un cien, we just say cien, one hundred. Cien niños, one hundred boys or one hundred children. Cierto, certain. Cierto idiomas, certain language. Mil, one thousand. Mil dollars, one thousand dollar. Otros, other or another. Otra clase, another class. Que, water, que ladima, what's the pity? We don't need que un ladimas or que una ladima. Que mean water with the indefinite article A within this word que. Semejante, similar. Problema semejante, a similar problem. Tao, sala, tao cosa, such a thing. We also omit the indefinite article. We don't say tao un cosa or tao una cosa. We just say tao cosa, such a thing. So before ending this section, we do an exercise on the indefinite article, a, and and some. A boy and a girl are walking on a street. A boy and a girl are walking on a street. We have to know this. A street is a feminized noun singular. A girl is a feminized noun singular. A boy is a masculine. So, un niño y una niña están caminando en una calle. And the answer is, un niño y una niña están caminando en una calle. Question two, London is a beautiful city. So city is a feminized noun, singular form. So if you translate to Spanish, Londres es una ciudad bonita. Londres es una ciudad bonita. London is a city beautiful. Question three, a cat and a dog are looking at each other. And in here, a cat and a dog in general form, we use the masculine noun. Looking at one another, it means each other, and we just omit the indefinite article in here. So, if you translate into Spanish, un gato y un pedro se miran el uno al otro. And in here, you see the face el uno al otro. This is a general face. This means one and others. Question four. A woman sees some elephants in the forest. So this is a woman, feminized, singular. Some elephant, masculine, plural form, the forest, singular, masculine. So if you translate this into Spanish, una mujer ve unos elefantes en el bosque. A woman sees some elephant in the forest. So this is a, this is some, and this is the forest. Question five, a friend of mine tell me the truth. A friend, amigos, is a masculine singular noun. Friends of mine, mine is mio, tell me the truth. Okay, she tell me the truth or she tell me the truth because one of my fans, a fan of mine. So if you translate this into Spanish, un amigo de mío me dice la beta. Un amigo de mío, you can omit the word de here. You can just say un amigo mío, a fan of mine, me dice, he tell me. In Spanish, this is called the reflexive. We will talk about reflexive in the later chapter, but in here, that means he tell me the truth. That means one of my friends tell me the truth. Un amigo de mío me dice la beda. A friend of mine tell me the truth. Thank you for listening to the chapter 2, section 1. I will see you in the other section. Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English, 
for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSE exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。